Aleph Aeronautics, a budding company specializing in electric flying cars, has recently disclosed that it has amassed pre-orders exceeding the impressive sum of $250 million for its much anticipated creation, the Model A. Having initially launched the pre-selling phase on October 19, 2022, Aleph Aeronautics requested a deposit of $150 from interested parties in order to secure their place in line. Additionally, customers desiring priority access were subject to an additional fee of $1,500. While the precise quantity of reserved units has not been publicly disclosed by the company, it can be reasonably inferred that the number hovers around 834 considering the individual cost of $300,000 per Model A electric flying car. Aleph Aeronautics has devised plans to commence production and commence initial deliveries of the eagerly awaited Model A during the fourth quarter of 2025. Aleph Model A is a 100% electric vehicle. Aleph Model A features 200 miles driving, 410 miles flying. Aleph Model A is a personal vehicle for one or two people and is the first drive plus vertical takeoff vehicle in history. So first, what we did is we took out the engine and instead put four small engines inside each wheel. In the open space left by the motor, we put a distributed electric propulsion system of eight motor controller propeller systems for fire. Third, we allow the air to come through by making a mesh which sits on top of this, which allows the air through. We have fundamental constraints even before we started the design. First, we wanted to make environmentally friendly. Who wants to bring all the chemicals which the car spits in the air, right? Second, we wanted to make it affordable. Who wants the car for which people own? Third, we wanted to make sure it can be used today in today's infrastructure. Who wants to wait another 50 years to build better parts of our infrastructure? Of course, we wanted to make sure it's safe. But safety was a must. Safety was first. We wanted to create a vehicle which is safer than a car, safer than a helicopter, safer than an airplane. This is just a small subset of safety features. Including our sports propellers, you can see our single point failures and others. Well, so for the media and for the current ones, next three will give most answers. Here are short term and long term targets. The short term Model A, which you see behind me, we hope to start production in 2025. The long term Model Z, we hope to start production in 2035. In short term, obviously, it's a low volume high price. In the long term, it's a high volume low price. In the short term, you will probably require to drone uh, operator license, the government test, or unlikely pilot license. But in the medium to long term, it will probably require only drone, drone operator license, or it actually will be autonomous. In the short term, it is a personal car, as you see right now. In the long term, in the long term, we plan to support four to six people to make it like a regular setup. In the short term, we probably will be allowed to take off only in certain areas, obviously, but in the long term, you will be allowed to get anywhere except certain areas. Our flying car is beautiful not only on the inside, but also on the outside. And now let me give the mic to our exterior designer, a famous former Bulgari and other brand designers, Kirash Designer. Hi, Kirash. Hello, Jim. To design a vehicle, to both drive and fly with recognizable aesthetics is not an easy task. The aesthetics of this car uses design cues from sport cars. The concept has to consider everything from legal rights with a strong brand identity as well as pedestrian protection. It has been a privilege to be a part of this project and I thank you Jim and the team for letting me in. Thank you. And now we come to the most important part of the presentation. The part where I tell you that whatever I told you before that is impossible. There is a reason we don't have flying cars today. It is because it's impossible. Why? Laws of physics. In order to fly, 
you need an air pressure under the wing to be more than air pressure under the wing, over the wing, right? It's very obvious. Hence, you need a large wing area. A car not only lacks a carrying surface, a good carrying surface, it also acts as a breaker of the airflow. This is a lot of most horrible designs for flying. Such an inefficient flying brake needs a battery which is way, way, way more powerful than the best battery we have today. There is nothing which can make the car ship object like this fly for more than 10 miles. By the laws of physics, it's impossible. And keep in mind, you also need to be skinny enough to fit in the driving lane. But I told you, we fly over 110 miles. This is just ridiculous. That's impossible. And here's the part of the presentation when I tell you we did the impossible. But we did not break the laws of physics. We fooled them. And you are already looking at the solution which is right behind you. So here we demonstrate how it works. You need huge wings, but could not attach them or expand them. Right? So the wings have to come from somewhere. That is right. The whole car becomes a wing, a bike wing, a circular wing. And yes, the car behind me has a very specific body wing geometry, which can do this in fine. And yes, the transition is already working and has been flown in real life in scaled flight since 2018. Let me give the mic now to somebody who knows a lot about groundbreaking paranoid discoveries. The famous former DARPA director and the former head of Fort Airspace, our member of our advisory board, the legendary Dr. Anthony Teller. Hi, Dr. Teller. Hello, my name is Tony Tether. I've been involved with developing research for many years, including being the director of the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, better known as DARPA, for the first decade of uh, this century. I've been involved with Jim and his team for the past several years. I'm impressed with them. I believe they will soon have a Kitty Hawk moment demonstration as revolutionary as the Wright brothers demonstrated at Kitty Hawk on December 17th 1903. On that date, the Kitty Wright brothers proved that they could create a heavier than aircraft that could go fast enough on the ground and generate enough vertical lift to maintain altitude. That demonstration resulted in the airplane industry we have today. What is the Kitty Hat moment here? Here it is showing that a vehicle can take off vertically to several tens of feet above the ground and then transition to horizontal flight, gaining enough vertical lift to not fall back to the ground as it transitions to horizontal flight. This transition will be more impactful than what was done at Kitty Hawk. I hope to be able to congratulate all of you at the event, which will create the Kitty Hawk moment for this century. Thanks for listening, and best wishes. Thanks, Dr. So, we understand that transition may take time to certify this thing. Hence, we came up with something called the Hop Scenario, our workplaces. Most of the initial problems, the traffic, the congestion, the jam, can be alleviated by a short hop over a problem area. Hop over an intersection. Hop over something blocking traffic. Hop over a water obstacle. This is simply going several feet in the air, hovering over a problematic area, and going forward, landing, and going going straight. We plan to allow the customers both scenarios, the short range up and a long range transition. So we had seven years of flight tests, three of which were the flight tests of the full size demonstrator, which we call Alan Model Zero. Alan Model Zero demonstrator is actually part of the site and we're going to go see it right after this. And obviously we've been driving vertically taking off the full size for at least three years now. And we have been flying a scale transition since 2018. Before I go to the conclusion, I think it would be fair to acknowledge our insurance engineers in this room. They, with every design detail, 
with every solid board smile, with every line of firmware, brought us forward to the future. That's a long term. Thank you. There's only one thing I have to do. To introduce the people who dream. To introduce the people who build. To introduce the people who design. Five years ago, I stood on this stage and asked to look at all these people's hands and to imagine that they will build the future. And now they have done it. Ladies and gentlemen, the founders of Alan. And one more thing. As of 60 minutes ago, I'm happy to announce that a pre-sale link for our flying car is live on our.ir website. You can today pre-order the first flying car in history. As of 60 minutes ago, someone will own the right to one of the first real flying cars.